Saturday night. It has turned out to be just a, a really nice day today. I hope you had a chance to enjoy it tomorrow. Maybe not quite as pleasant. It will be as mild, but it'll be very windy tomorrow. We'll talk more about the wind here in a moment. Right now, you take a look at the Storm Team Fury, and we do have some rain now edging into the central part of Illinois. Uh, we had some rain earlier today up around Highway 74, right up and through here, and a little patch of rain in the northern part of Clay County. But for the most part, the rain has stayed away throughout the course of the day today. We talked about that last night, how that's probably going to be the case. But now you can see how this rain is coming in, and it goes all the way back into Missouri. So we're not completely out of the woods. I suspect that uh, the possibility for some rain is going to be actually rather high for us as we get into the overnight hours and into the day tomorrow. Now, uh, 72 degrees is our current temperature, uh, actually, which is just a tad higher than what the normal high would be for this time of year. 70 degrees in Rockville, Paris has 70, Casey 69, and Mattoon 68, Effingham 70, Flora 69, and Vincennes has 70 degrees. Wind speed right now, uh, a pretty balmy night, really. A 10 mile per hour breeze coming up almost right directly out of the south. Paris has a 13 mile per hour breeze, Casey 3, Mattoon 6, and Effingham 7. But there is a gusty wind, Casey 26, Paris 17, Rockville 16 wind gust. Uh, 16 mile per hour gust in Robinson, Olney 18 in Linton, a 20 mile per hour wind gust, relative humidity, 68% uh, here in Terre Haute, KZ 79, Mattoon 81% relative humidity, Effingham 72 and 80% in Flora, Vincennes 73% relative humidity. So we take a look at this. And we can see right here in the middle part of the country what well, would seem to be uh, at least some sort of a system of some kind, and it certainly is. It's a center of low pressure and a cold front. And so we're in what we call the warm sector here. As we go through the nighttime, we'll continue to have breezy conditions, southerly wind, and as this cold front gets closer, we'll increase our chances for rain. You already saw it on the radar, and so that rain is moving in. And here's noon tomorrow, and once again, this cold front still pushing through, so it'll be a while uh, during the day tomorrow before the cold front passes, probably not before 6 o'clock. And it's going to be windy, especially with this low getting uh, very close to us and this uh, area of, with this, this colder air, somewhat colder air behind this front is going to cause an imbalance in the atmosphere. And that's why it becomes windy. Don't be surprised if tomorrow we have a wind gust at times of maybe 40 miles per hour or more. So I'm, I'm talking a pretty good strong wind. Now tonight, a south breeze at 15 to 20 miles per hour, rain and thunderstorms developing through the overnight hours. I can tell you this, there are no severe weather watches or warnings in effect, okay? So you can rest peacefully tonight. And if something should blow up during the overnight hours, the storm team knows no boundaries as far as whenever we're gonna be here. If something should blow up, we'll be here and keep you posted. Rain and storms uh, during the day tomorrow, a gusty south wind, but then by tomorrow night, the rain ends. It becomes breezy and cooler. Still a pretty good wind from the northwest at 15 miles per hour. It'll feel colder than 47 degrees. And the seven day forecast, Monday 63, Tuesday 68 degrees under a mostly sunny sky. And uh, then we get into Wednesday, another chance for some rain about the middle part of the week. So Rondrell, I know that uh, you'll probably be heading up to the Covered Bridge Festival. And so uh, Tuesday right now looks like the, the best of the days for me anyway because of maybe a chance for some rain on Wednesday and Thursday, but that rarely slows down. In fact, some people like to go on a rainy day because the cloud, the clouds, the crowds are a little, a little fewer than, you know, when it's really, really nice. Well, it's going to be a really hectic week this week. I would love to get up there. Hopefully I can. You know who goes there every day? Who's that? Every day so he can eat Ross Roll. Oh, yeah. Big fan. <laughs> yeah. Fan, right? Is that what you said? Fan. Fan. Yes. fan. Yes. All right.